Hi, I'm James, and in this video we are taking a very quick look at how to upgrade this, which is a Dell Optiplex 3070 Micro system. Now, the first thing that we need to do here is just remove, well, not remove, but undo the small thumb screw at the back. Um, now, this is all that's holding the case on, and what we want to then do is slide the top of the case and the front panel forward, so make sure you've got any front USB connectors removed as they will stop you moving it. Now with that done, uh, it's actually very easy to work inside this machine, so we're going to be installing an additional DDR4 DIMM and a M2 SSD. So to get to the M2 slot, what we need to do is pinch these two, connect uh, these two catches at the back of the SATA drive holder and we can lift that out. Now if you want to remove the SATA drive, this is tool free, just pull the edges there and you can see these four little prongs just clip it in. We can then refit the drive or fit a new one just by pulling it into there. So to fit our SSD, we have the little retaining screw, even though this machine did not come with an SSD, uh, we're fitting it straight out the box um, because it was cheaper to buy this with a hard drive and add the SSD in uh, than it was to buy one with one pre-fitted, strangely. So we are going to take our SSD, line up the little notches there and just slot it in. With that done, we can then screw the retaining screw down being careful not to be too tight on that and that is in place. Now our next job is going to be to add the DIMM, very easy to do on this. Uh, these two uh, little catches here, if we press those in we can lift off the fan and shroud. So in doing so, we can then get access if we need to clean up the cooler at all. We're going to leave that plugged in because we've got no reason to remove it. And again, we are just going to take our DDR4 8GB DIMM, slot that into place and press it down so it clips in like so. All this is then left is to slot the shroud back on, press that into place so we can see it doesn't move when we pull on it there. Then take our hard drive and slot that back in. All we then need to do is take the cover, place that back in so that the little locking uh, tab there where you can padlock the top on if you need to slots through and then tighten the thumb screw. And now we are all ready to go ahead and get this machine set up with the clean Windows 10 install and get it back to its owner. Thanks for watching.